What's going on guys? You guys are gonna like this one today. We got some more Tesla news and this Model 3 right here is over 100,000 miles. A lot of people are wondering how long do Teslas last? Are they reliable? Are they worth the money? And let's just jump into this and break it down. So we got this article talking about this one person doing 100,000 miles in two years. So there has been some Tesla's out in the wild over 400,000 miles, as you could see here, some Model S's, some Model X's, but this is the latest, uh, one of the newer Tesla's on the block and doing over 100,000 miles. Now, I'm looking at these newer Tesla's as more efficient, as more reliable. So it says here that this driver drove 100,000 miles and he only spent about 400 about four thousand seven hundred thirty dollars including electricity so this the total actual maintenance cost was close to two thousand dollars and he drove he's had this um, model 3 long range since 2018 so it's been about two years and then he drove a hundred thousand miles so if you really look at this if you drive if you're taking this exact um, amount of servicing and you expand it over a few more years let's say you take it all the way up to 300,000, then that's only about $2,000 per every 100,000 miles. Now that is a long time. I think most people would probably take at least uh, 10 years to even get to 200,000. So being able to spend only $6,000 over the course of 200, uh, over the course of 300,000 miles is pretty, pretty dope if you ask me. So down here, if you, you go a little further, it talks about how they only replaced, had to replace um, the air filter because um, it started making this type of smell in the, in the cabin at 36,000 miles and the bulk, the bulk of the maintenance cost was from the tires. So it makes sense, you know, the tires aren't made from Tesla. Maybe that might be a good idea for Tesla to make some type of newly efficient tires they're known for making everything from the ground up and the most efficient possible and in the most efficient way possible so i wonder how if tesla can make like some type of tire that lasts two hundred thousand miles that would be pretty insane if you want to see tesla do that hit that like button and let us know down in the comments um you know so we could see tesla uh mitigate that maintenance costs so going down even further it compares a bmw 3 series costing over eight thousand dollars over the same gas mileage and i believe this is just talking about the gas mileage if you're to, if you are to drive a hundred thousand miles in a premium compact sedan um how much it's going to cost you in gas so that is literally four times more than the maintenance costs alone in the Tesla. And that's not even talking about the electricity as well. So it says it costs this person named Iman less than $3,000 in electricity, and then an extra almost $2,000 more in that maintenance cost. So battery degradation, this is what you guys are really here for. So they're saying that 5% battery degradation over two years at 100,000 miles. Now that is pretty impressive. I believe um, the long range, I don't know if this is, it seems like this isn't even the all wheel drive. Um, so this, this model probably started at 330 miles and now it's at 305 miles in terms of uh, maximum range at 100% right here. And, um, but he also did, something to look at is he drove this amount of miles in two years. Now it'll, it'll it's also going to be a little different with age. It's not just the amount of miles you drive. It's also in the cycles. It's also age over time can have a factor on battery degradation. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like after 10 years of driving the Model 3. So in the next next article, we're looking at, um, oh, actually the warranty. So this is the warranty. They actually replaced a few things out of a uh, goodwill in the warranty, let's see if I can find it here. What is it, what did they replace? So right here, um, they replaced the wooden trim on the dashboard. They said it's starting to peel at 51,000 miles. 
at 63,000 miles, the passenger window started to squeak. That seems like um, it would have been cheap as well to replace. And then at 71,000 miles, the car had a front left safety restraint fault error that could have been possibly fixed with uh, with maybe a software update, unless it was like a physical thing. And then at, at 93,000 miles, the driver's headrest looked worn out and was replaced. So yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely probably gonna be a normal thing that you're gonna have to replace. But all of these things aren't anything major or so it seems. So it'll probably be cheap out of warranty. Now I don't even know if, if this says good, out of goodwill, I don't know if this would be really covered in your warranty. You have to look on the Tesla website in, in detail to see um, what, what parts are gonna be covered in the actual warranty. Uh, but now for the next, next Tesla news. So Tesla is planning um, some expansions, some future expansions, maybe some more battery factories um, in Austin, Texas for their new Gigafactory or Terra Factory. I'm not sure which one it's gonna be. If you know, let me know down in the comments. So they're planning some more, some more factories and hopefully some more projects. Who knows, maybe they'll build, they'll build the Roadster along with the Cybertruck out here. Uh, but yeah, that seems about all for the Tesla news. If you guys like Tesla tech money, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the next video and let me know your thoughts. Peace.